Hi, my name is Sheila, and in this practice video, we're going to explore how to create children's books quirky characters. Practical case, children's book quirky characters. Level, basic mid-journey V5.2. Rule applied, cartoon versus realism. Don't forget to check my e-learning links in the description and enjoy. Important tips. One, before creating a prompt, you should decide which style you prefer, whether it's the extreme of hyper-realism or a more cartoonish animated look. How realistically a subject appears can be a style in itself, but many also consider cartoon and realism as mediums. Whether you see it as a style or a medium, I personally like to decide this before working on the subject. We start with a difficult subject, a girl as a cartoon, and isolate it on a white background to have a clip art. Slash imagine a cartoon character of a girl isolated on white. We are getting specific adding style and physical characteristic to our subjects. Comic art style, in the style of muted whimsy, full body, big eyes. You can use muted whimsy if you want muted tones and quirky expressions. And of course, if you use big eyes, you are creating coherency because all your cartoons will have this feature. Same happens with smiling, big head, angry, sleepy, etc. Other two mixed mediums are watercolor and drawing, so we write to mid-journey, soft watercolors, handmade drawing. Remember to use commas to organize your tokens. When I use more than three mediums combined without broke the prompt, this will be intermediate level, but this one is still basic. Finally, we are going to close the consistency even more with colors. I have decided silver and brown, we use stylize 100, and that's it. To run this prompt at least three times to choose the most beautiful grid. From the most beautiful grid, we find the seed to give even more consistency. If you don't know how to find the seed parameter, in the description, I leave you the link to the video. This seed depends on you. Always look for the most beautiful and congruent grid. Our characters look amazing, but I think we can place them in a places to make them look even more incredible. Remember to run the prompt with a great seed. In this prompt, I spent four hours looking for the best one. You can use these clip art on children books, products, prints, or getting profit selling them. This prompt is already selling on my prompt base and other marketplaces. Due to politics, they wouldn't let you upload it, but you can vary the style and make your own prompt. This prompt was a nice challenge. I'm a top seller, and I'll be sharing weekly videos with examples of prompts at basic, intermediate, and advanced levels. It's great content. I'll also have a section for tips and much more. And hey, I invite you to my channel. Please subscribe.